Hello everyone, welcome to Akash Institute. In this new video series, we are discussing the counselling processes of different states and UTs of India for NEET 2024. And today's state is Andhra Pradesh. In this discussion, we will look at the seat matrix, the eligibility criteria and the entire counselling process. You can visit this website for the information on the same. Let's first look at the MBBS seat matrix of Andhra Pradesh. As you can see, there are 37 colleges with 6,485 seats in them. You can take a look at the map and have a better understanding of how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Now, this is the list of the government MBBS colleges. Please note that AIMS Vijayawara invites admission only through All India Quota. The state quota is available in the other colleges. In addition to that, please note the names, locations and the number of seats in them. Now, this is the list of deemed and private MBBS colleges. Here, you have the BDS seat matrix of Andhra Pradesh. As you can see, there are 17 colleges with 1540 seats in them. Take a look at the map and you will get an idea how these colleges are distributed throughout this state. Again, you have the list of BDS colleges here. Please note the names, the locations and the number of seats in them. Here you have the 2023 MBBS cutoff marks of the government colleges. This was for general, EWS, SC, ST and OBC. Here you have the same for the private colleges. General, EWS, SC, ST and OBC. And here you have the same for the deemed colleges. General, EWS, SC, ST and OBC. Now, we will discuss the different quota categories of Andhra Pradesh. There are basically two quota categories. One is competent or state quota counselling. Another is management quota counselling. Under competent or state quota counselling, the government medical colleges offer 85% of their seats. And if you want admission there, you will pay 10,000 per annum approximately. Then under this quota, private medical colleges offer 50% of their seats. And if you want admission there, you will pay 15,000 per annum approximately. Now what about management quota? This is only for the private colleges. The private colleges offer 35% of their seats under this quota for the Indian citizens only and 15% for the NRI candidates. The 35% quota for the Indian citizens is further divided. 85% of it goes to only the candidates of Andhra Pradesh and the rest of it goes to candidates coming from all over India. And if you want admission under this quota of Indian citizens, which is 35%, you will pay 12 lakh rupees per annum approximately. Now we will discuss the different steps of the counselling process. It starts with online registration. The link to the website has been given. The next step is waiting. What do you wait for? The publication of the registered candidate list. When that is done, the next step is physical verification of documents at allotted centers. Next, declaration of merit list, then online choice filling, then allotment of seats and in the end, you report at the allotted college. Next is eligibility criteria. For the competent quota, candidates applying for the seats reserved for the localites of Andhra Pradesh should have studied for minimum of seven academic years, including 10 plus 2, from one or more government recognized institutions located in Andhra Pradesh. Also note that the candidate shall satisfy local or non-local status as per GOP number 646 Education W1 Department dated 10th July 1979 and the presidential order. And remember, that Andhra Pradesh is an open state. So even when the 15% All India quota is exhausted, students from other states can also take admission in this state through the management quota or the institutional quota in the private colleges or deemed universities. To know the eligibility criteria for local or non-local candidates, please refer to the official prospectus available on the website. Now we will look at the documents required for the counselling. First, academic eligibility mark sheets or certificates. NEET UG admit card and mark sheet, domicile certificate if applicable, caste certificate if applicable, 
PWD certificate if applicable, passport size photographs, government ID proof and minority certificate if applicable. In addition to that, you may need to submit more documents if it is required. Now what about scholarship? Yes, there is scholarship in Andhra Pradesh under post matric scholarship scheme. For whom? For SC, ST, BC, EBC, Kapu, minority and PWD candidates. What are the requirements? The total family annual income is to be less than or equal to 2.5 lakhs and the total land holding of the family is to be less than 10 acres of wet or 25 acres of dry or 25 acres of both wet and dry land together. You can visit this website for more information on the same. What about bond? There is no service bond in the government or private institutions in this state. We have come to the end of this video. Hope you understood the counselling process of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you for watching.